Today, we will discuss yung solution of equations. Obviously, the solution to equations is... Sa pagpasok ng COVID, ang lahat ng school at review centers ay natigil. Liban lang, of course, sa Padilla Review Center. Ang lahat ay nag-migrate sa online. Iba-ibang pakulo, iba-ibang style, ang mga estudyante sa pagpili, lalong nalito, lalong naguluhan. Pero para bigyan kayo ng mas clear idea on how we do it, actual in our online review, we created this channel para nakikita nyo ano talaga ang mangyayari, paano namin ginagawa sa loob ng Padilla Review Center Online. All links are found below this video. But before we begin with our discussion today, please don't forget to visit and to also like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. Nasa baba po ang link. Subscribe na rin po kayo dito sa YouTube channel namin. Huwag niyong kalilimutang i-click ang notification bell, choose all, para lagi po kayong updated and notified sa lahat ng post namin. Para po sa inyong lahat ng nagre-review ito at nag-aaral ng engineering. Pati po yung mga BS Math, lahat po nang nagtake ng math. Pero hindi po limited sa math. Buong civil engineering specifically ang didiscuss namin kasama po yung ibang subjects sa ibang engineering, mga common subjects like mechanics and strength. So kung may mga request po kayo na problem, ipadala lang po dito sa YouTube channel namin and then isya-shout out po namin yung kung kanino nanggaling yung problem na yon and hindi lang siya shout out isosog po namin. Today we will discuss yung solution of equations. Obviously, The solution to equations is ang pinaka-famous nating lahat na ginagamit yung shift solve. Ito yung tumaranta sa mga estudyante nung dineclare ng PRC na wala na yung shift solve. So, um, marami mga nakaregister na nag-withdraw pa, natuloy ang board exam, tapos dineclare ng PRC, pwede pa rin yung may shift solve. So, huli na, nakapag-withdraw na sila and hindi na nila tinulo yung board exam nila. Okay? Ang dami kong nabalitaan sa ibang review center. Kami noon, nag-adjust lang sa calculator kasi may mga alternative naman. But honestly speaking, this ship solve is very convenient. Okay? Okay, let us try to have this problem. 101, the log base 2 of the log base 3 of the log base x of 2 is equal to 1. Commonly, we solve equations like this, solve for x using shift solve. Let us do it. So, take note that this is log not base 10, not base e. So, it's other than 10 and e. So, the key here is alpha log. So, press alpha log in your calculator. Then, 2, right arrow key to enter the open parenthesis. Then, press again alpha log. So, then, press 3. Then, right arrow key to enter the open parenthesis. Take note that alpha log comes with a parenthesis pair. So, there is no problem with a closed parenthesis. So, then, Press alpha log, so that would be alpha x, so that is alpha close parenthesis, right arrow key, then 2. Right, right, right. So you notice that the 3 required close parenthesis are already there. Then press alpha equals or alpha calc, then 1. So this is how we normally solve it, then shift solve. For uniformity, let us try every one of us. Let us try entering 5. So, equals. So, it is processing. So, 
1.08006. This is the x. As you can see, the solution is quite long, right? Okay? Or the solution is short, but the waiting is long. How many minutes? Okay? Now, there is another solution here if you know your identities. So, a, a logarithm is actually an exponent. So, this is the base of the exponent. So, if you want to remove 2 here, this will become 2 to the 1, right? So, log is removed. So, then, if you want to remove log base 3, make the right side as exponent of 3. You get it? So, this is removed. If you want to remove log base x, make this as exponent of x. So, that is log of 3 squared. And this is going to be equal to, the remaining part here is 2. So, input this in your calculator. So, that is alpha x raised to 3, raised to 2, raised to 1. Right, right, right. Alpha equals, then 2. Okay? Then, shift, solve. To be fair, let me enter 5 equals. As you can see, it's processing. one point zero eight finally x is one point zero eight zero zero six this is the value Pares lang. you follow okay so whether it is logarithm or exponential your processing will be quite a time it requires time okay so we know that time is a valuable asset when it comes to the board exam Okay, so the easier solution, of course, is, is simply using yung algebra. Or better, if you know this, look, this is actually x to the 9, right? But let us see. If you simplify this, that is x to the 9 is equal to 2, then shift solve. Look, so let me repeat. So if I help the calculator, that is x to the 9, then shift so, for fairness, let me input 5 equals. Also processing, a simple equation, exponential equation will make the calculator process it and it will take long. Canon is weak in logarithms exponentiation. So, 1.08. It's a little bit faster, but it also still... 8 our time okay even if you help it with this one of course the simplest is this you really solve it so use algebra x is equal to what raise both sides to 1 over 9 so this is x 2 to the 1 over 9 if you do this directly to your calculator it's matter of split second so 2 raise to 1 over 9 and that is pang 1.08005946 or 6 you follow you get it but not everybody will be able to do this right away because ship soap is convenient convenient but takes time but there is an alternative faster than ship soap this is it so log base 2 of the log base 3 of the log base x of 2 is equal to 1. The solution is this. Input this in your calculator. Take note that we are asked to find x. So therefore, there must be choices, right? So let us say that the choices are letter A, 0 0.08006. 
Then letter B, 1.08006. Letter C, 2.08006. Letter D, 3.08006. Let us say that these are the choices. So input this in your calculator without the 1. Okay? Look, let's do it. Alpha log base 2, right arrow key. Alpha log base 3, right arrow key. Alpha log base x, no? Alpha x or alpha close parenthesis, right arrow key, then 2. So take note, if you will press the right arrow key, take note that all the right, Close parentheses are taken care of because the alpha log comes with a parenthesis pair. Okay? So then, instead of entering equals 1, when there is an equal, equal sign, the only way to manipulate it is shift solve. But if there is no equals, you can use calculation or substitution method. So press calc. Your calculator will ask you for a value. This time, we will substitute these values. Okay? Input the first value, 0 0.08006 equals. The required value that we want is 1. So here, it's math error. Right? So to go back, just press the left arrow key, then calc or AC. AC is okay. So right arrow key, then calc again. Calculator will ask you for another value. Look, substitute 1.00, 1.08006. Press equals. So you'll see here that what you will have will be 0 0.999998. It's practically 1. If you are still doubtful, press equals. X will ask you for another value. Press 2.08006. And you'll get here, math error. So, equals, or left arrow key, call. Then, 3.08006. So, that would give you another math error. The only value that will give you this one is 1.08. 0, 0, 006 and it is practically equal to 1. You follow? You get it? The fastest one is this. Mode table. You press mode table so that would be 6. So your calculator will ask you f of x. Input this. Alpha log 2 right arrow key. Alpha log 3 right arrow key. Alpha log x, right arrow key, 2. Press equals. Take note that our desired value is 1. But you just input this for your f of x. Then press equals. Your calculator will ask you for the smallest value. Right? Yung start. Input this. 0 0.08, your calculator will just, uh, is limited to certain values, so you can just use 1.08, okay, or 0 0.08. Press 0 0.08, the smallest. Notice that the discrepancy is always 1, okay? We will use that as the increment or step. So press 0 0.08 equals. Then last value is just 3.08, right? So press 3.08 equals. Step. This differs by only 1, right? So press step 1 equals. So as you can see, it will take only a little processing habang nagsasalita ako may sagot na. Diba? Nakita niya? Okay, so look. From your result, for row 1, 0 0.08, error. The only one with a value there is 1.08. And the value is 1.0004, practically 1. So the answer is letter B. You follow? Mode table at times in substitution is faster than ship solve. Mode table will be faster because it is actually substitution with a predefined 
increment values. You get this? Clear? So kapag ka yung equation mo, when your equation involves logarithm or exponentiation, then the simpler solution than chip solve is mode table. You get it? I am inviting you to enroll in our calculator tricks and techniques program. So you will learn a lot of methodologies and techniques in order to maximize the use of your calculator. The most important thing about this calculator, there are a lot of algorithms that follows a certain syntax. The problem is there are a lot of cases in Canon wherein it will not give you a message of syntax error. It will give you a value, either math error instead of a syntax error, math error. But the truth is, it reached its limitation. So it is important to know the limitation and how to go around the limitation. So it's powerful, but you need to know how to go around its limitation. So see you next time. Please support this channel so that this will be continued and we will be able to finance the production of this. It's not just teaching here. This is being edited. This is being improved by our team of our media team. So they are at the back of this room. That is our office where we do the production, the improvement, the effects of this one. And there is somebody in charge of uploading and she's my daughter. She's uh, the one in charge there. So please support this channel by promoting it, sharing it, inviting people to subscribe in this channel. Most importantly, to enroll in this program and to enroll eventually in our review program for, that we offer for civil engineering and tutorial classes. So next time. See you.